Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. I'd say the biggest problem you run into, though, when you try to look at things logically, is that people just don't understand words the same way. So a lot of misunderstandings happen. To prevent that, I'm going to start with some basic definitions, beginning with the word truth. Now, truth is kind of hard to define because it's one of those words that has more than one definition, but fortunately it doesn't have as many definitions as some people think it does. A lot of people use the word truth to mean things that it doesn't really mean. So the first step is to determine which definitions of truth are right ones and which ones are wrong. There are two big definitions of truth that are really popular nowadays, objective truth and subjective truth. Basically, objective truth means that we don't get to decide what's true or false for ourselves. There's a standard of truth outside of ourselves that we either accept or reject. And when we reject it, we lie to ourselves. Subjective truth is exactly the opposite, that there's no such thing as reality except what's inside each person's mind. Therefore, each person decides what's true for themselves. Here's the problem. We can't have a word meaning two completely opposite things. Otherwise, it's absolutely useless in conversation because you could tell someone one thing and they could think precisely the opposite thing. We have to decide which of these definitions is true. Fortunately, this question is pretty easy if you just do a simple experiment. Find about a dozen people who believe in subjective truth and sit them all down in the same room. Then put a candle in the middle of the room and light it. Ask each of them whether there's a candle in the middle of the room. All twelve will admit that there is, every single time. Now, if there were really a subjective truth, the outcome of the experiment would be totally random, because each one would have their own ideas about whether there was a candle in the middle of the room. They just don't apply the concept of subjective truth to the things they see and hear, only to things that they already disagree on. Just the fact that they all recognize the candle proves that there is definitely something outside themselves which influences their decisions. So we conclude from this experiment that subjective truth is a load of garbage, and only objective truth really exists. Truth isn't something we can throw around whenever we feel like it. It's a whole lot bigger than we are. Now, I'd like to get into a logical study of existence next, but... <laughs> whoops. Now I have to explain logic. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.